Paul, please. Play. Now, during Wimbledon, when you open a paper or when you click on a website, you see hundreds of photos from here at the Championships. But how do they get there? We're going to go and find out. People always wonder why sports shoots shoot so many pictures. Is you're always trying to improve on the last picture you've got. You know, Venus Williams, for instance, will lunge in the right way once or twice a match. And if you're not shooting when before she starts that lunge, you won't get it. So we're just dashing around trying to get all the top seeds and the stories and the Brits and yeah, just as much coverage as you can. I was doing Serena and then that looked a bit tricky in the first set for her. Then I had to come over here and Anna had almost finished. And then I have to go up and get another one and then get the pictures back to the office as well. So a lot of toing and throwing. These pictures are moving from the cameras that are all network enabled, courtside, they come straight into us and then uh, with the websites in seconds. So now we've found ourselves in the photographer's zone here at Wimbledon and we're going to take a little trip into what's affectionately known as Little Tokyo. Wimbledon is Wimbledon, so people, even they don't know about tennis, nothing about tennis, still just people know about Wimbledon, it's like a magic word. How many yeah. photos a day would you say you send out to the Wimbledon website? Oh God. I don't know. It's, uh... We moved over the system 46,000 last tournament. How many pictures? Two weeks? Too much. Too, Too much. much. <laughs> Paul, please.